Now, the next thing we are looking at is uh, word problems uh, involving equations, linear equations. We, of, we often meet mathematical statements involving unknowns and known quantities. Now, to solve such problems, we must first form the equation by first assigning an unknown, an unknown letter for the quantities we are looking for. Then we solve the resulting equation. And you are going to do this using these examples. So the first example is here. Find three consecutive integers whose sum is 57. That's the first equation. So the first thing is, we know integers are numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Eh? Then uh, we are told that the first three integer, uh, consecutive integers, the first thing is we are, going to, we are going to let the first integer be x. It means the next integer is going to be x plus 1. And the next integer, because there are three consecutive, will be x plus 1 plus 1, which is x plus 2. Now the sum of this will give us 57. So it means we'll have x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 is equal to 57. Now if we, we collect like terms, that is x plus x plus x is 3x, then 1 plus 2 is 3 is equal to 57. Take 3 on the other side of the equation, we'll have 3x is equal to 54. We must get x, so it means that 3x, uh, we divide all through by 3, we get x as 18. But the question was, find three consecutive integers. It means the first one, is, which is x, is 18, the next one, 19, and the, la the other one will be x plus 2, and that is going to be 20. So the numbers are 18, 19, and 20. This